Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathologic 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that I chose to join me today. As I move the microphone and possibly do a bunch of noise that you heard, I'm so sorry for that. And as we swear not to harm the Earth. And uh, that's gonna be interesting. Before the eyes of kin and Earth, this I say, I, son of Mother Bodo, who is Earth, will not harm her. The sky is my witness. With capital S though, so that's kind of interesting. One courier is still alive, he's wounded, where could he be? Uh, yes. Uh, also, I potentially have enemies aiming at me right now. I should try this later. We also have the journal. This expanded, and I didn't know it would. The last courier is out of town, but where? All this time, the town whispered directions to me, but now it is silent for the first time. I'll have to think for myself. Um... Oh, I'll have to fail is what I'll do. There's no freaking way I can survive. Exhaustion is a problem. What can I do? We got a pharmacy over here, so we should go to the pharmacy right away. And then we should go over here to the shady shop. Uh, we should also be on the lookout for flowers or for a uh, of flowers water uh, we're gonna need healing supplies but we rarely find them at all Ooh, yeah we came here before didn't we oh what a jerk what a jerk okay where are we going I don't even I have no idea where the courier would be I mean, I have an idea. The idea would be the hospital. <laughs> Everybody's there. Oh, maybe I should talk to them, though. No. Okay. I don't know if that's a criminal. I don't want to risk it. Man, I didn't even loot that. Terrible. Um... Yeah, so we're going to the shady shop. I wonder what's going to happen, though. Because the hour is about to pass. And when it does... There it is. In which the light dies out. The day? Was it the day that shifted? Coda. Something's wrong. I'm in the theater again. Why? Does it mean... What does it mean for me? Well, I wanted to see... So the funder is a reward for me. That's... I don't think we are at game over. Uh, this didn't change. No, it's over here. This didn't change. So this is not game over yet. <laughs> You're late. For shame, sir. For shame. What's going on? Where am I? You're late. You quite definitely didn't make it. Come on in, collect your payment. Don't detain us further. Is there really nothing that can be done? What is that difficult task? Was it that difficult a task? Not at all, if you ask me. Of course, it wouldn't... It would have involved some legwork. But you were given enough time, and you never found those wretched papers, meaning you never wanted to. Move along. I did want to. Town's gone, my dear. The show has been interrupted due to a lack of interest on the part of the prota protagonist, right at the climax, too. Can I come back, please? I'll act my part better. I'll find the papers. That's a question for you, sir. Not for me. I see. Well... Who's this? My path was called larger than life. There isn't a single boundary I haven't broken. I've done everything I ever wanted to. Wow. My path 
was called the Diaphragm. I thought I was free to decide the fate of the kin. But Fortune <laughs> had something else in mind. It did. For you, anyway. My path was called the Mistress. I tried to anchor the memory of my unearthly wife here in this town. These are the dead people. Huh. Which means I'm dead, too. Cla Clara's here. God sees us from beneath the earth. Why do you think he's in heaven? He's down below. Yeah, those would be the Ketonic gods, which are, the, in terms of uh, history anyway, uh, the most ancient ones. I, we, we don't really have access to, well, we sort of can glean some things into prehistoric gods. Um, but yeah, the first, no, actually, wait. Not first, not not at all. The beginning of history. History starts. No. Uh, yeah, history starts a lot earlier than that, in about two thousand years. But then what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the pre-Greek gods, which were Ketonic, and there's a lot of Ketonic gods all over the place. Those would be the gods of the underground, and uh, they do sound really cool. By the way, <laughs> I do acknowledge that, but that's that's not just. It's not about how cool they are. Uh, it's about. Um, the fact that they are indeed underground, and uh, I don't know what uh, Cl Clara is talking about here. One, one is as bad as the other, and the other, and the other. One thinks is ahead above the rest, but loses heart. The one's light on his feet, but turns a blind eye to everything that matters, and none of you can save everyone. Play it as you like. I'll be the one who cleans up your mess after, anyway. Well, I never volunteered to be the first. You're welcome to go on stage yourself. It is canny to conceal that one is uncanny. I don't actually know what canny means. Uncanny, I do. Unsettling. It's more or less what it means. What crude practices. What rustic procedures. I refuse to work this way. Totum revoluntum. Revolutum, he says. Totum revolutum. No, damn it. Revolutum. Yeah, this is... I don't... Nah, I don't think I have that ramble in this Let's Play. This is how some people uh, have, for multiple times, or a couple of times, uh, in the comments, told me how to pronounce certain uh, words in languages from the eastern part of Europe. And uh, because, again, this was written by Russians, uh, then there it goes. I do not know what that means. I don't know if that's a long... Uh, well, the, for one, I think this is uh, syllabic um, separation, which is good because it's the Latin style syllabic separation instead of the English style syllabic separation, which is, it's not atrocious, but it's it's super com confusing. And I've, I've been thinking about it, uh, about how, specifically how English uh, turns, uh, uses sil syllables um, and how different it is from my own mother tongue, Portuguese, uh, which also has this style uh, of uh, syllabic separation. And uh, how I think understanding the syllables in a, in a word in English is so important to actually pronouncing words in English properly. Uh, and you see a lot, a lot of people having difficulty, a lot of Portuguese people, Spanish-speaking people, por Portuguese-speaking people as well, in general, not necessarily just from Portugal, having difficulty with certain uh, words in English. Uh, and um, because, precisely because of that separation, like for example, and, and Japanese is just the extreme because of course Japanese is a different thing altogether. Um, so for example, what's wrong with you? These are one syllable words. This one, I don't think that it's two syllables. I think it's just one, even though it isn't, but because it's, it's like two words, uh, but wrong is a single, um, is a single syllable. And in Portuguese, for example, you kind of could consider it two syllables. If it, if you were to say this in Portuguese, or if you could write this, which you can't, because the the sound r doesn't exist in Portuguese, so you can't make that write this sound. But anyway, in, in Portuguese, you could hypothetically 
write it as two, the ro and the ng, or the rong and ng at the end. But that's not how English is, how, that's not how English speaking people think of the, their words. That doesn't exist. That's just wrong. And that's why some accents will get the G away and stuff like that, because it's not a syllable, it's not there. Um, and the, Sp it's, the Spanish language also has a little bit of this in the how you can mute some syllables. Um, and others you can't, and I don't understand how that works. Uh, but I, I've seen people uh, speaking Spanish in ways that I just can't understand. And I, when I went and read the subtitles, I'm like, oh, so that's what they're saying. Why are they saying it like that? Uh, French has the same thing, but I, I've, I don't have personal experience. I hear that French has the same thing. Um, anyway, the point is with, for example. Portuguese would be with. <laughs> It's just, it's weird, isn't it, for an English speaker to see to, to see that. But it is also weird for somebody who thinks of, like, simple sounds as syllables, which is what these are. Totum revolutum. In English, this would probably be tot um. Those would be the syllables. And then re vol u tum. Those would be the syllables there. So even... Try even if these were English words, which they're not. Uh, even in English, they would be they would have different syllables because it's just a fundamental uh, different different um, language, just completely different. So for people to explain to me how to pronounce things, the, the, the syllabic separation is easy to understand for me. Um, but then these I, I can't understand. Uh, I, I I have two hypotheses, and I might, might be wrong on both of them. Uh, they, it, they might be long. Um, long sounds, and these are probably not the long sounds, so this kind of hints at the second hypothesis that I have, not at this one that I'm talking about, uh, but when like, when it's just a Russian word, for example, I don't know if I'm supposed to say lutung instead of lutung, um, or they could be what is known and I don't know, actually I don't know how it is known in English, but what in Portuguese or from the Portuguese word would translate as the tonic syllable, uh, which would be like, for example, business uh, business, which is uh, the syllabic separation there would be busy. No, no, yeah, busy. So it would be the B U S I and then ness. So that's two syllables, business. Um, I think that's how it's separated. Might be wrong. I don't, of course, the don't, but I'm not a native speaker and I didn't learn this in school, which is interesting. My Engli I remember asking that of my English teachers and they always didn't have any idea how to separate uh, syllables. And I also know native English speakers who don't know how to separate uh, syllables because um, they just didn't study and don't really care. Anyway, the point is this could be the long lutum or it could be revolutum instead of revolutum or Revolutum. And the difference there is the ton tonic syllable, which exists in English, because you can say business, you say, which, by the way, business is a very Portuguese way of pronouncing business. Um, or if you don't, don't really know it all or haven't heard. Um, no, actually, another uh, better example would be, for, for example, industry. Industry, you have the in the street. The, so the tonic is right at the beginning, but you could say industry which is closer to how it's pronounced in Portuguese, and that it would be in the over in the dust. And that's not wrong, obviously. So I think that might be what it is. Um, as far as I know, Latin has those things. And Russian probably does as well. But it is funny. And I ramble about all the things, so I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but it is funny as well that he's doing this, because it's sort of... I d it's like... Have you ever noticed how so many characters in Japanese fiction are introduced by age and height? Have you noticed how there's a weird obsession in Japanese? It's just a cultural thing, obviously. Uh, but there's this weird thing about uh, the height and the age of somebody. Uh, and isn't it the eye color as well? I, I like I don't I don't know enough of Japanese culture to know why that is or how any any just is misrepresented in anime. Uh, but it's super weird because. To me, as a Portuguese person, it's just super weird to think of, of uh, people as, um, as uh, oh, I'm, my name is Colonel RPG, I'm 32. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, the height, I'm 6'8". Um, and uh, it's just like, no, that's not what defines me. 
<laughs> so the, yeah, of course that's more connected to what uh, identity is. So it's very a very cultural thing for sure. Uh, but this one is a, a weird thing because he's not actually writing it to me. He's even doing air quotes, which he's not. And I, which what it is is it's the 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 writer doesn't know what air quotes are. What well, actually air quotes? Not, not the writer doesn't know what quotes are used for. That's just simple as that. If you this this is not correct. Um, but anyway, he's he's. What is he saying? He's like he's. How would you voice act this? You'd say totum, revolutum, totum, revolutum. It's like you're teaching me how to speak Latin. And then he says rev revolutum. And the, the confusing thing about this, by the way, is precisely the lutum at the end. Uh, I, I remember having difficulty as a six or seven year old understanding what tonic syllables were, precisely because it's. Not so much about the the syllable that you pronounce; it's about everything else that comes after, um, and and it is why those exist. At least in poetry, that's the case. So, for example, uh, totum revolutum in a verse, this would be one, two, three, four, five syllables. This one doesn't count. And if it were the va, the the tonical the ton, tonic syllable or whatever it's called, it would be only four syllables. Um, so if you, when you have the meter in in a in a song or in a, in a in verse, uh, you count only the things before the tonic. And I think it works as well for English. Uh, and it works the same in English, but I'm not sure of the rules about that. Anyway, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with me for rambling about all these things? As I have just died, by the way. I re I think I have just died. I don't think I don't know anything. Hush! You'll destroy my focus. Scientia potentia est. Oh, you're pronouncing. It. Oh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm mixed. Actually, mixed the uh, my my Latins. Um, you don't. It's scientia is not pronounced by anybody in Latin. It, it's either scientia or scientia, and that would be the difference between ecclesiastical Latin and um, restored Latin, which is what we believe um, Romans uh, spoke. So it'd be scientia potentia est. And that's what he's saying over there. Again, with this nonsense of... I, I think it's nonsense because it just comes natural to me. And also, it isn't Tia. So you're wrong. This might be in, this might be the case in... Um, um, this might be the case in Russian, though. But it isn't in Latin. It's Ski and Tia. Because that's a, a, a single sound. The Ia is a single sound. Um... And you can see that as well in, in just, um, I think it is. No, maybe it isn't. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I don't know. Even I don't know this stuff. And I my language <laughs> has the same separation. Um, and I'll see it that's key more crisply, maybe. Anyway. A town of creepy children and masked freaks. All doomed. Yeah, it's not my fault. He was shot, and he still delivered the papers. That's bollocks is what it is. You're late, he says. Well, it's not like I've missed my train. Who knows? I was busy. You were late. You didn't make it in time. Do you understand? A theater is all about being on time. To the minute, being late is unforgivable. One person is late, and everything is ruined. You've let everybody down. Everybody! I don't even know how I'm supposed to go on working with you. It will never come to anything this way. Anything whatsoever. I don't know what you want from me. I am forced to cancel the rehearsal. You're free to go. What, please? Free at last. No, actually, I don't know what that means. Does it mean that... I don't know what it means. My path was called the Return of Magic. I wanted the power to create a place of miracles and precious anarchy. But that is not going to happen, because you died. Truth does not do as much good in the world as its counterfeits do evil. Yeah, he says that every once in a while. What does it mean? Reload? No. Why? 
Ooh, ooh, this is weird. There's a big thing over here. Oh, it's just the setting. Yeah, I would expect that to be the way out, but there's no way out out here. Also, I... Oh, that was ill-advised. Uh, might have to go up. There's the only way. This was where the first game starts. In the in these galleys, and you hear a conversation down below. Very surreal. And then you go out through a, one of these doors. Am I forced to reload? Because I suppose I can. There's no way I can make it. I don't, I don't, I have no idea. Like, I can... I don't know. The problem is I don't know where the papers are. So, it feels like it would be a nice story to tell what happens after I fail. And just have that story be instead of a fail state. Do I need to kill you or something? This I mean... This damn rain. Will it ever end? You can't blame me. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Game. Game. Did I choose the wrong option and now I'm stuck? There was an option here. I think I saw an option. Maybe. If you look closely enough. Oh, it was the stamina. The arc is okay. made of a series of straight lines. No. There's no such thing as straight lines or arcs. It's a whole series of points. All in our heads. Even the points. One got a nod. One got a wink. The third one gets the hint already. I don't get the hint. The heck is that? Huh. Okay, I'll uh I'll look it up. I couldn't find anything, but there's this door. The station is closed at the moment. Day 12 still. There, I've reaped my harvest. Off we go, the two of us, into the wider world. We are inseparable now, my fellow traveler. Hang on, we're going back. To the great expanse where the real life is, where there's real work waiting for both you and me. I'm going to be much more interesting. Who are you, fellow traveler? Wherever you are, there I am. That's how it's going to be now. Back in town. You could have shaken me off. You had the chance. A once-in-a-lifetime chance, but you didn't. Wise choice. Now you're going to have to put up with me until the end. And not just you. Like I said, there is... Uh, like I said there, in the Great Expanse, the harvest will be more painful. Or plain plentiful, he says. Plentiful. You bet. Well... I don't believe you're lying, and I'm never going to believe you. That's what I was talking about. Of course there will be work for you, for me collecting my dues, for you holding me back, if you so desire. Decide. Uh, we're talking to the plague, by the way. We're talking to the plague. If you so decide, you are a doctor, aren't you? A notorious lover of people. So we'll both have jobs to do. Forever. We are where we're returning to. It won't be fun in games anymore. I'm telling you, it's real life. <laughs> real, huh? Well, we'll see. And I think that's the game. Roll credits. 
<laughs> Quite literally. We failed. I like it. I like the ending. Um, I like that we weren't stuck in the theater. I like this ending, let's be honest. This isn't the ending of the game. Uh, there's so many things that you can do so much better in this game. Huh. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I believe... I don't know what I missed. That's the thing. Uh, I have zero clue about where the courier might have gone. I believe maybe to the... the um, hotel... Uh, not hotel, to the theater specifically. Uh, and that's what threw me off a little bit that uh, we were in the theater. And I was like, oh, we got teleported here. That's great. But no, it wasn't. It wasn't great. That was the uh, Comic Sans. Comic Sans! Albert Semyonov, my dot name, Comic Sans. Albert, why'd you do that? Come on. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that that's that's it's been Pathologic too. I I hope you enjoyed it. I this is the sort of game that I really want to play again, but I'll play on my own. I'll min max all the things basically, um, because I know where things are and uh, specifically I know the tools of the trade that's that's gonna be very important um, and uh, so yeah there's so much in this game that, that we missed for one but also to uh, to do properly I really don't know the, the answer to the riddle at the end there's also a DLC which I'll be playing um, and uh, so you can join me in the next episode for that DLC but for right now I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Pathologic 2 I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.